Hey, welcome back y'all, Sax here. So, I don't know if y'all have even ever heard of Air Creek. I have not ever heard of it. But man, it's some super, super cool stuff. It's dope, it really is. So, the proven theory is infusing some, uh, your, your concrete mortar, infusing that with oxygen, and uh, basically a foam, create a foam, infuse the foam, use that foam in your mix for your concrete, uh, mixing it up real moist, and uh, pouring that rather than just mixing up concrete regularly uh, as it hardens it's going to swell it's fused with oxygen cells so uh, it floats it's buoyant it's super lightweight uh, super durable I mean the applications for this are, are off the off the charts off the chain I mean the things you can do with this stuff so anyway man I was just mind blown jump down the rabbit hole on it and I was like yo man I gotta see if I can create some so first thing we gotta do is see if we can uh, figure out how to make that foam that we need to infuse the concrete with so my inspiration for this build came from this man, Jim White. Okay, so let's get right into this build. So we're gonna make us a foam generator for Aircrete. Even though Mr. White didn't explain how his foam generator worked, I could pretty much get the idea by looking at it. So I went ahead and drew up what I think is how that thing operates and we'll go ahead and go with it from there. So I ran to Lowe's, grabbed me the materials that I think that I'm gonna need from just looking at a uh, this video some three inch PVC some inch and a half PVC all schedule 40 um, half inch PVC as well I uh, used this old water line right here from the sink um, an old one that I had replaced I want to use that in my wand to make a trigger so I have a bunch of old air hose outside had to go get a regulator pressure regulator and then uh, of course the glue for the PVC um, some air tips some connector tips uh, a T, an air T, some hose clamps, so a half inch end cap, a half inch elbow, uh, inch and a half end cap, a three inch end cap. Um, this right here is just a piece that I had sitting in the garage that I'm going to use. I want to use as my base to put that in. Start off with uh, taking this three inch PVC and I'm cut it to the length that I need. So I set the PVC inside of the base I'm going to use so I can mark it so I know just uh, how high up I need to put that hole to put that half inch elbow into when I drill that out um, so that it sticks up above that. Next I come up top to the top of the PVC and I mark out where I want the uh, airline to go in at. So I'm going to drill out the airline hole but I'm going to drill straight across because I want um, another one on the other side so the air can go straight through. After that I put a um, hole dead center in the bottom and I get my step bit and I step out this hole to make it big enough for that elbow to go in. So now we got the holes up top for the two airlines to go in, one on each side of that, three inch PVC, the hole at the bottom for that inch and a half uh, to screw into. Now I'm going to use a heat gun. I'm going to heat up these holes. It doesn't take very long at all, so uh, don't get too close to hold it too long. You'll burn up your PVC, but this just softens it up so that I can uh, screw in those uh, the, the air lines to, you know, so I can tap it in there. So you want to make your holes just slightly smaller than uh, the size that you're going to thread in there. That way you can thread it in. So now I just set this in here. I know my height is where I want it to be. I'm going to set up the assembly for the air valve or for the regulator. So I'm going to throw a, a in, in line on both sides. So now that we've got that set up, we'll uh, set up that onto the side and move on to the next step. We're going to take this end cap for that 3 inch PVC. And we're going to glue that onto the bottom, which will be the side that goes down inside of that stand that I'm going to use. And I'll set it down just like this, pour concrete in there, hold it up. That way it just has something that it can be freestanding. So now that we've got the airlines in, we're going to go ahead and put the reduction on the top of it, which is going to go from 3 inches down to 2 inch because the uh, water valve that I'm going to be putting on there is a 2 inch valve, and I'm going to use that to uh, fill it uh, from the top through that valve so I can turn it off and on. So next I'm going to take this 2 inch PVC pipe. I'm going to cut 4 inches off it so that I've got enough length to be able to um, glue the two two inch um, pieces together so that 
water valve right here, which is two inches. Um, that PVC will go in one side of it, and then the other side of it will obviously go into the top of the reservoir there for this foam generator. So let's get that all glued together. Now we got the four inch, uh, two inch PVC in between that so we could tie those two in. Now we've got those together. Now we're going to put the half inch PVC pipe um, inside for the upspout for the water to pull the solution that's going to pull through and come up that spout. And I've already cut that down to the length that I needed. So this is where we are so far. We've got the elbow in the bottom. We've got the half inch pipe coming up. We've got the two air lines in and we've got the reduction zone to the four inch pipe with the fill pipe on it. Now we need to set this end cap up for um, another valve for the water to be able to come through as it comes up the top. Not a valve but a connector. We're going to do the same thing there. We're going to heat the end of that up with that heat gun and then uh, screw that in and then we're going to glue that cap onto the top of that half inch PVC pipe. Now we'll set up the T. We're going to put lines in on each side of that T so that we can connect all our hoses to it. One will be for air coming straight through, one will be for the water coming up in it, and the other one will be for the air and water mixed uh, solution, the mixed solution in the air to mix together to come out um, toward, to the wand. That'll be our sprayer. So now we need to connect this uh, on there. So we're just gonna cut off the little piece of this old water hose that I got. Now that we got that T connected on there, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that uh, airline ready to go from the the up spout, that up water spout that's gonna go into the bottom of that T, which is where the, the water, uh, the solution is gonna pull through and go into that T. So now we've got it set up where the airline out and the water solution can come and go into that T line. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit the regular the regulator side up. Cut this piece of hose, tie that on there. I'm using hose clamps on everything. Now I didn't use uh, threaded tape, which I need to do that because uh, I got air leaks in it. So now we've got that set up for the air to go in that side. It'll push through there, uh, go out the other side. Water will pull up from that up, up uh, three, that half inch PVC up and then out the other side. So now we're just gonna zip tie it all down to uh, fasten it just to make sure uh, you don't get to moving around on me whenever there's pressure built up in it. Cut off the ends of them zip ties. Good to go. So we've got the regulator, the line going in, blows in, blows straight across. Now we're gonna go start working on this wand. Um, like I said, this is just old sink faucet sprayer tip that I decided to use. So uh, I got this little piece because the end of my sprayer fits about perfect inside of there. I'm going to glue that in. Now the thing is, is I ended up pulling this back off after I glued it in because I realized that uh, it wasn't going to adhere good to that little fake chrome stuff on the outside of it. So I actually ended up pulling that back out, taking my grinder, grinding that off uh, down to just the raw plastic and then did it again. And that worked perfectly. So then we put a, air, another uh, connector at the end here so that we can hook that, that line up to that T or or so we can hook up the line that comes out of the T to go all the way up into the end of the wand that we're building so now the foam generator is pretty much built we just gotta make the the gun the end of it so all I've got going on here is I put my contraption inside of this base that I want to set in I'll mix up some concrete pour some concrete inside of there around that to uh hold that up so this stands by itself and I've got the boards and the braces on there because I've got it set and perfectly level so that it dries level straight up and down. I'm going to put a few screws in here all the way around. Uh, drill a hole through there and put some screws in there just so uh, when I pour that concrete in there it's definitely got something to hold on to because I don't want this to be able to pull out of that plastic. Alright, so I drill some holes, put some screws in there all the way around. And uh, what I'm going to 
to do is we'll put the concrete inside of there and those screws will help keep that from being able to come out and then after that concrete hardens I'll just take a uh, angle grinder and cut all those off flush. Well, here we are just got the concrete poured in I'll cut those screws off with an angle grinder it's done that poured in that base and anybody who's been watching my videos before um, I've got a lot of those ammo cartridges and this came out the inside of one of those green ammo cartridges so that's where that little cylinder came from so I decided to use it and it's just all set up in here balanced out so that concrete I've got it set on a level level that way and level from the back side so we'll let that set and dry and then it'll be freestanding so guys and gals i offer my apologies i uh started building this wand without recording uh, i completely forgot that oh yeah this is for a video so anyway this here is it's not a t it's like a 30 degree angle um something like that i don't know specifically what it's called but anyway it's a two inch on this side pvc uh set up and two inches on this side reduction down to inch and a half pvc so i've got me a cap for the bottom i wanted to make basically a gun and this is just a handle so it's got a cap on the bottom of the one and a half inch um i've got my two and a half inch out here so i can um connect the the part of the wand that we're that we're creating that i've already already uh, put uh on the end of that oh water spout like sink spout and then this side here is set up for two inches to go in that as well so um what we got going on here is i have taken more two inch pvc cut that glued this piece on there drilled a hole out which will go on the end for that to spit out of and then this the end of this wand is going to have this piece well, that's going to go in that and glue into that and it's threaded here and that threaded side will go into this th threaded piece of pvc like such and those two things will go into the end of this here which is where uh the solution mixture and the air is going to flow through go into this gun and shoot out now inside of this chamber here we're going to stuff it with some stainless steel um, sos pads pretty much so I apologize for not uh, videoing making the handle my my gun I guess and uh, we'll go from here all right so now let's put these pieces together as I've designed so now for the gun so the spray side the inside the final side we're gonna go ahead and stuff it with some steel wool mesh stuff and then I went ahead and got some other a little bit finer stainless steel uh, wool mesh so I'm gonna first stuff this in then I'm gonna put some of this steel wool inside of there I'm going to take this little piece of chicken wire that I cut to fit in there just to keep uh, any of that from pushing out of the end of my tip that's going to go on this gun. So I'm going to put this down and put this down in the tip.
I just noticed that this old hose that I was using that I've had sitting in the garage forever is uh, pretty brittle. I'm pretty sure once that gets under pressure, that's going to blow. So I'm going to run and buy some new hose. So I just went to Ace Hardware, got us some new line, and we'll use this hose instead. We'll replace all the hoses that we got on there. And both of those lines will tie into that. All right, let's go try this thing out, see if it shoots out any foam. So our ratio is going to be 35 to 1. So I'll be doing for one gallon of water. Um, well, I'll be doing eight ounces of solution. So I'll be using one gallon of water plus one and a half cups of water. All right. So we got one gallon, one and a half cups of water, eight ounces of Dawn dish soap. Let's use that same jug, filter back up that solution after we mix it up in the Home Depot bucket. Let's go out here and give this thing a shot. Definitely generated some thick foam. Oh yeah, that'll definitely work, but I got me some air leaks to tend to. And I don't like the hole, I'm gonna fix that hole, but yeah. Definitely works. Definitely works. Fix those air leaks and I think we'll be good to go. Well, I hope you all really enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, hopefully it brought something new to your attention that you didn't previously know about before. Kind of like myself whenever I ran across the old air creek thing. So now that we got the foam generator made, uh, our next video will be uh, mixing this up some air creek and building something. I have no idea what I'm going to build yet, but I'll make some forms for something. I don't know, maybe an Air Creek doghouse or... Oh, wait. Do people use doghouses anymore? Nah, I don't think people use doghouses. We'll make something out of some Air Creek. But uh, the next video, we'll mix it up. We'll make some of that Air Creek, and uh, we'll go from there. But at least now you know how to make the foam generator, which is the most important part, is getting that, fo that foam together so that you can infuse that into your, your mortar mix so that you can have the Air Creek. Um, so don't forget to like. Subscribe, hit your notifications uh, for my weekly uh, releases. I at least try to get a, a new build uh, out every week. All stuff that has stuff to do with, with off-grid, you know, um, things like that. Like this application for this air creek. Uh, just imagine out in the middle of nowhere. You got your little air compressor, of course. But you can build stuff with this uh, air creek. And you can do it cheaply. It, it's, it's, it doesn't weigh much. It just, I don't know. I just think it's, it's a really cool thing for off-grid applications. So um, the next video will be us building something out of some air creek. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. Oh, yes, and before I forget, if you're into a good laugh from time to time, you should definitely check out my other channel, Thinking Out Loud. Basically, we take all the things going on right now in the world, we make comedy out of it. Love to see you there.